This wave is my gift for you. Uh, my name is Steven Matz. We're here at Adventures Fast Rivers Rafting on the Nantahala River. Well, the, uh, the, the kayaking and canoeing and uh, rafting kind of came um, while I was, uh, grew up competitively swimming and saw some kayakers one day and uh, I guess uh, the, the rest is kind of history after that. I, it became a, a huge passion as most kayakers will attest to is once you kind of get a taste of it, uh, it kind of does change and govern your life. So taught a lot of kayaking over the years, a lot of canoeing and uh, this opportunity became available and uh, we were just definitely searching for something that we were able to, uh, that we would enjoy and that uh, my wife and I were able to operate together and I think the, the rest was uh, just a lot of matter of good timing. Uh, well this, this company was started in 1979. We are actually the third owners um, when we came here, it's, it's, it was much as it is today, but we continually are doing improvements. So we were definitely fortunate. It was kind of a turnkey operation, so we just had to learn um, what type of business we were operating. Business, business is kind of business. It still uh, comes down to uh, you know the dollars and cents of how you operate a business. But in this type of business, it's extremely customer oriented. So it's about safety and about how, making sure that your customers have that excellent experience on and off the river. Um, it's kind of like having children and getting to see um, things through their eyes for the first time. Every customer that goes down the river, especially if they've never been before, we already know how awesome it is and so now they get to experience that. They come back, they're super excited, they had a great time and uh, that, that, that's what keeps us excited day in and day out. Well, owning a business is always a learning experience. We uh, fortunately had owned a couple other little businesses and different things and tried different things along the way, so we had some experience as far as that goes. Uh, I have a civil engineering background, um, fairly mechanically oriented, able to repair things and keep things rolling. That's definitely important. Um, things we would have liked to know prior to, uh, I don't know, sometimes you got to just a little bit you have to throw caution to the wind and just give it you, know, you got to go for it you know you can analyze get a business plan see if everything works out on paper uh, things don't always look great on paper but sometimes uh, over time they, they will come to they will come to fruition if you put in the, uh, the hard work and you know so the other things the things that we would like to have a little more knowledge about I guess would be uh, any more any type of business background that you can establish along the way entrepreneurial courses anything that would enable you to run a business more more smoothly understand more of the accounting principles uh, marketing is a huge deal in, in this type of tourism type business uh, without marketing you're pretty much dead in the water so the I would I wish we were better at marketing and I wish we had a little more accounting background everything else uh, as far as me mechanically keeping things running and understanding the river we've got that pretty well uh, definitely handled so always looking for some knowledge in those in those others or other arenas I think what's very key about owning your own business is I guess I always, as a child, always wanted to own my own business. I always had landscaping companies and I rarely ever worked for anybody else for very long. Mostly did things on my own. So I was always looking for ways to uh, make, a, make money and have fun doing it and, and work hard. I was never, never afraid of hard work. So that's, you definitely have to be willing to work hard. Sometimes you make a lot of money, sometimes you don't make much money at all, but you got to keep moving forward. Uh, meeting people along the way, every person you meet is a potential doorway. Working in industries, in the industry that you enjoy, if you want to be a if you want to be 
in the kayaking business, you need to be teaching kayaking, you need to be selling gear, you need to be up on all the information. If you want to, uh, you know, anything that you're interested in, you definitely want to gather information about that interest before you set out on your own. You need to be an expert in that area. So that would, that would definitely be my recommendation as far as some preparation. Every, every opportunity of uh, meeting a person, that's just a potential doorway to another person to an opportunity that will avail itself. I think it's. I think everybody loves a good wave. Uh, whether you know the surfing industry is enormous. Obviously, those those guys are addicted, just like we're addicted to waves on the river. Um, you'll find you'll find kayakers all across the country who you know will, will are willing to live out of the back of their truck to find the, the next great run, uh, just like just like surfers are. So, and even if you're a beach goer, who doesn't like to sit out on the beach and enjoy the waves? So it's kind of the same thing. These waves don't break continuously like a beach type wave, Appalachian waves are continuous. So once the, if the river's running, you're gonna have that same wave. It's a standing wave. You're gonna have it there at all time. So going down the river, it's just wave after wave after wave. The, the water bounces off the rocks, which create those waves and create different features. And all the features are slightly different. So it's, it's definitely a dynamic situation. Um, once you learn to read the river, that's when it gets really exciting. You learn how to break it down and you're able to do harder and harder white water. And uh, that's, that's, we're here mostly for beginner and intermediate runs. So it's a lot of these folks that, that we deal with, this is their very first time. They might not necessarily learn how to read white water first day out, but they're gonna start to understand it and be excited about it. And that's what keeps people coming back year after year.